All right, let's talk about penis power. Alexis, Alexis explains the nature of penis power. Penis power. Because if you really want to earn your man, you need to learn your man. And a lot of times we get caught up with the wrong men or caught up in a man's penis power because it's good. I mean, if a man has been around and, and he's a hoe, especially like the ones I'm talking about that hopping from here, here, and there, they have a lot of practice and they know a woman's body, they know the power of their penis, and they know how to soothe her body and to soothe her vagina. Because there are some good men, although they still like to flash, they're not whores. They don't give their penis to everybody. You have to be able to recognize them because the man that is living to ejaculate He's in a predator mode. Uh -huh. And when a man is in a predator mode, he's going to look for the weaknesses of a woman. A woman that's, that's lonely. Her vagina is cold. She's laying in bed at night playing with her toys. Or she's got a man beside her. He's a good provider. But he's not hitting the walls and working the middle like that dog that she having that well, sneaky sex push. with. What a dumb broad. What the hell? Like the puha has no power? Are yeah. you kidding me? Pussy power. Pussy power, I think, is a little greater than uh, penis power. Yeah. Hey, dude, if you were a woman, would you be a, like a, a slut? I don't know. You can't even answer that goddamn question. Women think so much differently. Of course, a guy would say, yeah, I'd be a slut. Yeah, I think the pussy you know? power is a little stronger than the penis power. I really do. But uh, I, a girl could get laid whenever the hell she wants. It's as simple as that. Yeah, but there's a lot of worry that goes along with that with women. Why? Eh, you got to worry about the whole, uh, uh, you know, you're going to get some guy that's going to belt you around or something. If you're, if you're like, fucking everybody, and then, you know, diseases. Yeah. You're the slut. I'd be a prude. Yeah, I would just diddle myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'd wear hot outfits and be a prude. <laughs> be a cock tease. I want to be a cock tease. <laughs> I want to be a hot cock tease with full, <laughs> with full C bosom. Well, you're part of that already. You <laughs> you don't have the bosoms, but a hot cock tease. I would be a hot cock tease. That'd be great. I'd wear short little skirts <laughs> with my bush hanging out. <laughs> I'd wear a Catholic schoolgirl skirt, very short. I'd have it taken up, just covering the area. <laughs> I'd wear capri pants and I'd chomp my gum loudly and wink at boys and other passersby. What is this, 1955? So what, that's how I would do it. Is it? I don't know how you would do it. And I would take my titties and duct tape them together <laughs> so they poked out farther. Ooh. The nipple parts. I would wear a very short skirt with no panties. And I'd walk down the sidewalk and drop something. And with my ankles completely together, <laughs> I would bend over to pick it up, look behind me, and give a Jimmy tee -hee. <laughs> Over my shoulder while exposing my bunghole. I would do oopsies all day long. All day. Full C's, no bra. <laughs> Just showing oopsies and then doing this move. Uh, uh, uh. No, no, no. We the finger back and yeah, forth. Yeah, index finger back and forth. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. You know what I would do? I would go to a construction site and I would probably blow like five or six <laughs> construction workers. <laughs> and then I would go to the beach and lay on a chaise lounge and blow cum bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> hey, could uh, I, I want the rest of the staff to line up? What kind of a, of a, a woman would they be? Yeah. <laughs> to be a slut? Uh, or a prude, or a cock tease. I would show what I got, but uh, but I'd be a cock -tease. That's what I'd be, a <laughs> cock tease. <laughs> Wearing just the skimpiest shit. I'd wear braces even though my, my street, uh, my street, my, my teeth were completely straight. Yeah, Catholic school, <coughs> little outfits. Steve, what kind of chick would you be? An ugly one. A big bear. What kind of chick would you be if you Rosie could be Rosie O'Donnell. Chick? If I was a chick, I would be a God. One of one of the guys has to be the dyke. Who's the dyke? Who's the dyke with the short hairdo? And what the, would you want? And the Nantucket sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be. I want to be the hot chick who takes care of herself. Oh, is it? Yeah. What would you go to school and? Make something of yourself. Be a career woman. No, Look at you. No, no, no. You're, no. you're looking at this like you really want to be a woman. Yeah. You want to bring home I'd the baby? Fight. I'd fight against no, no, the glass no, no, no. ceiling that's no, no, placed no. in the corporate world. No, so no. what's women can advance as much as your men? <laughs> no, I meant takes care of herself physically so that, oh. you know, 
so that uh, she can be promiscuous with as many people as humanly possible. Oh, so you'd let a lot of guys fuck you. Oh, would, that, that really turned around horribly, didn't would, it? Would you give up your chick ass? I sure would. <laughs> <laughs> he gives up his male version. <laughs> <laughs> Lovingly, <laughs> oh, of course. Okay, so you'd be you'd take care of yourself. It's not one of those bodybuilder chicks. Uh, not no no fitness model chick. Fitness model chick. That's bordering on like that's like, that's not bodybuilder. The the yeah. the, the female bodybuilders take testosterone shots. The fitness yeah, I don't model like chick that. Just take really good care of themselves. I don't like where that ligament shows in their leg. Nah, that ligament nah, in the groin is just popping out on muscle chick. No nah, muscle chick. That. Now they take testosterone injections and their and and then their boobs shrink, their voices get deep, and they get oh, Adam's apples. That's and they, th- they do production. <laughs> no, 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 they don't. <laughs> it was just hurtful. It was. It, it was, was mean. I apologize. Thank you. Your cozy bear. Thank All you. right. Anyone else want to? Uh, Who would? Let's see. Danny, I'm trying to think Danny's of what Danny. Thinking. Danny knows what, what he'd be of, if he'd be. He thought ch- about this. What kind of chick would you be? I would be a giant whore. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not use, even trying to fake it. No, not even. I would use my pussy to get everything I wanted, though. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. I would be like Anna Nicole. I'd find some oil air and go fuck him. And just bang him. Oh, and, yeah. And talk your way into, uh, or fuck your way into just wealth. Absolutely. That's a smart guy. Smart guy. And Travis, of course, would be, uh, what kind of chick would he be? One that hops on a bus to Canada. Aww. Every weekend, Aww. he'd be the type of chick that has a beard. Who, who would be? I'd be myself. Yes. Who would be the lesbian chick? He'd be a chick that holds a Derek. A kitty Derek in would his be hands. the hot lesbian chick. Yeah, Derek would be the fucking the lesbian. Yeah. The open-toed okay. sandals. She doesn't care what anybody <laughs> thinks about her lifestyle. <laughs> she doesn't give a hoot. She wears glasses even though she doesn't need them. <laughs> E-Rock would be a soccer mom. Yeah, he would. <laughs> With a big no, bunt and no, pleated pants. No, no I got to stop you. And that is very funny, Anthony. I, I, yes. What, what, what would it be? A smokezilla from Whack Bag. E-Rock would be a BBW. <laughs> <laughs> Smokezilla, right on, bro. A BBW. <laughs> BBW. Uh, Just hanging out on Chubby Chaser website. He, he'd, be, he'd be vice president of Fat Pride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Someone is saying they would be Tub Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? Who else wants to admit? Sam? Come on, Sam. We're gonna force you today. What kind of chick would you be? I'd be a nice girl. <laughs> a nice girl? Yeah. No, he like wouldn't. What? Be. I'd be a rosy-cheeked cocksucker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice girl. I have no idea. Thanks, Sam. I way to chip in. <laughs> <laughs> and the Than and Sam show is on when? With such great. Well, we don't talk about that. what we would do if we were women on the Than and Sam well, show. Well, that's the type. Oh, of, no. That's the type of thing the audience wants to hear. What kind of chick you would be? Absolutely. What about Than? Save your partner. What kind of chick would you be, Than? <laughs> the same type of guy. Yep. I'd be a. Ch- I'd, be, I'd be. I'd be. I'd have tits, but I'd stare at the wall and <laughs> contemplate stalking people. <laughs> yeah. I think Than would be a webcam girl. <laughs> <laughs> a faceless webcam girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying on hot outfits for everybody. I'd be constantly thinking that, yes, Jim was kind of close, that my man was up to no good. Oh, yeah? Really? yeah? Yeah. So what would you do about it as a chick? Constantly, like, go through the browser history. Oh, you're right. oh you'd yeah. be, like, suspicious chick. Yeah. The yeah, stuff but, I defend myself from. But by, say- <laughs> <laughs> but by saying that, you're saying you'd be a girl in a, a relationship. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're, you're the one of the types of girls that want to settle down with somebody. Yeah, yeah okay. get that real connection, Anthony. All right, so right. You, you That's lo- good. Wait, you uh, you uh, go through browser history? No, I clear mine. That's what I'm saying. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, things he defends against. Yes. Right. Ah, uh, anyone else? Did we get everybody? I'd wear yeah. Daisy Dukes. <laughs> 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 you could now with that hairless ass you have. I would wear. Wow. I would, I would wear Daisy Dukes and white socks and high heels. Who would be the size queen chick? Who wants the big fat cock? <laughs> Danny. Danny does, because he's just a slut. Yeah, well, if you're going to be the whore, I mean, you might as well be enjoying yourself while you're at it, right? Who would this be the so gay? Who would be the three input chick? <laughs> a three holer? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Steve would be a three holer. I'd like it in the mouth, pussy, and ass. I'm a three holer. Five if you count my hands, seven if you can hold my feet a certain way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's 
All right, very interesting to see what types of... I think that uh, let a lot of our personality out right there. Oh, yeah. What type of chick we'd be. All right. With that. I think Sam would be so svelte and lovely, but have deceptively hairy genitals. <laughs> <laughs> Just a big, thick, thatchy bush. Hairy asshole. Like, you expect yeah. her to be so smooth. Because the stomach is, and the cheeks are so rosaceous and, and, and lovely and kissable. Dark, coarse, and hairy. She's a dark, stinky fucking set of genitals. <laughs> like, a, like, a, like a pocketbook full of shit. Hey, like you fucking cleaned off the barber's floor, scoop shit into it, and put it into a fucking gyro. <laughs> Let's go to Kelly in Georgia. Kelly. Ah, Jesus. Hi. Hi, boy or girl's name. How are you? This is Kim. I mean, this is Kelly. Right. Oh, oh, well, okay. Real name, Kim. Listen, What's up, Kim? Her real name is Kim. Hey. Exactly. Listen, I want to know, I want a guy's opinion on whether I've given my husband too many blowjobs. No. No. Because <laughs> we've been married 11 years, and that's all he wants. She's probably given three. <laughs> is that too many? No. Oh, God, no. It's, it's at least twice a week. It's all he wants? Yeah, he doesn't want to fuck me. That's what I want. Are you on the oh, pill? Say you want to be fucked. I want to be. Wait, are you on the pill? Uh, yes. Mm, interesting. Uh, do you have any kids? Yes. Did he ever lose his erections while fucking you? No. Um, no. In fact, I mean, in fact, I mean, I'm a big fat cow now. Oh and, boy. And even no, listen. Even when I was skinny, oh it's boy. the same thing. I'll explain. He's pretending you're someone else, <laughs> and it's easier <laughs> to do that with your fucking head bobbing up and down in his lap than I while he's on top. I wouldn't. I wouldn't doubt it one bit. Really? How much did you weigh when you were married? No, when, when we first got married, I was like 120. And how much are you now? 180. See, that should be I'm a, part of, I'm a fat cow. See, there's an issue. See, there. that should be part of the contract. But no, no, no. I mean, it's been the same since the first day. I mean, but he can walk by me and get an erection. He yeah. still is turned on by me. But he just likes the BJs, I guess, huh? You got, you I, got, don't, I don't know why. So, well, I mean, you don't think he's gay, do you? How many kids do you got? Two. So, mm -hmm. is your, is your, does your vag fucking uh, just droop open like the fucking the mouth of an old pony? No, it doesn't. All right. <laughs> nice body, considering it's a little on the big side. If you cough, I've, do I've your got, pussy looks go... <laughs> 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 old pony. <laughs> no, you he, en he, en he enjoys giving me oral. He loves it. He gets off on it. I don't like oral. I want the real thing. Yeah. And he just gave up on that part of it? Uh, yeah, he, I mean, he will if I beg him, but even then he won't do it. Can't get that image out of my head where you, you're giving him the little sugar cube <laughs> and the lips are going, <laughs> like, <laughs> popping together. It looks yeah. like two plungers slapping together. <laughs> hey, uh, not for nothing, did he ever throw oats into your cunt? <laughs> not yet. I don't know how to say that without being disrespectful. Slap on the yeah, old not, feed bag. Not, not yet, but I wish I wish he would. Whenever he touches wow. your pussy, does he keep his palm wide open? <laughs> yeah, and <rubber. laughs> fighting. <laughs> I'm going to go with... Uh, um, Skanky I pussy. Just, yeah. I think I just, I think I spoiled him. No, I think you smell. I don't smell. Oh, then again, he likes the orals mm. on her, so. He loves it, he loves oh, it. I don't like it. And uh, do you do you finish everything up when you get moral? You know, you, you swallow. I swallow. And I uh, swallow and everything. I'm, I'm really good at it. You know what? Why don't you uh, take command here? Uh, suck that gek, and then uh, before he finishes, you uh, stop. And you climb up and you, you take your enormous fucking body and just throw it down on his dick. Take some initiative there, sweetie. Why don't you do this? When you're giving okay. a blowjob just to be a good egg, why don't you tickle his his uh his bottom a little bit and then when he's not looking you slip a slippery finger into his unsuspecting keister. And then take a he, he fist in like your that. face. <laughs> What's I that? Tried it. He doesn't like it. So slip a finger into his cheester and then look up and say, what are you going to do about that, bub? <laughs> <laughs> bub? Bub? No, I've had to him. buy a vibrator to take care of myself while he's at work. There you go. All right. We get a black gardener. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't All know. Right. Patrice, is, Patrice is starting to look pretty good. I'm wow. sure he wouldn't feel the same, though. Patrice's girlfriend is hot. Yeah. No disrespect. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a cow. All right. Cow. Don't, don't, now, don't try to knock yourself. I'm well, sure you're Well, he's, he's a black guy, cause so it all depends on where the uh, weight is. Maybe if it's on her ass... All right, That's true. we got to get back to uh, penis power. It's right on her head. All right. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold She's on. skinny with A cups and a fucking 130 pound skull. All right. L wait, let me set this up. <laughs> Kelly from Georgia. Do you know what Brooklyn's all about? No, what's Brooklyn? All right, you're about to find out. Tommy in Brooklyn, you're on with Kelly from Georgia. 
Hey, Kelly, of course you swallow. You're 180 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Brooklyn. <laughs> He's implying... Uh, I enjoy it. Yes. I like the taste of it. Uh, ah. we, we saying you like the taste of anything. <laughs> He's saying that if you had Melba toast, you'd milk your husband's dick onto it and eat it. Wouldn't it be funny? If, wouldn't it be funny if she went to the doctor and the doctor figured out that she just has swallowed way too much cum? And she, need, yeah. she needs to take cum out of her diet and she'll go back to a regular weight. <laughs> Semen is high in calories. You for got her. sixty pounds of seed just jiggling in there. It's like she's wearing a giant inner tube of loads. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Like if she if she moves, even her back goes like makes fish tank sounds. <laughs> <laughs> this show is so schizophrenic, man. Weren't we talking real serious on the other yeah. side? No, we're doing uh, theater. Now we're doing blowjob jokes. All I, right. I, I, hey, thanks, Kelly. All right, signing out. Bye. Hey, keep uh, keep up with the BJs, lady, you cocksucker. All right, there she goes. Uh, more penis power. What drives a woman to toys? Because, like I said, she needs the vagina penetration. A lot of women are hooked on having clitoral stimulations. You have an outer orgasm with your clitoris, but also you have inner orgasms inside the intra-vagina. Inside the vagina walls, hidden G-spots. And every woman's G-spot may be similar, or some women may have more than one G-spot. So some women are actually hooked on coming. I mean, it's women that can be at work at their desk. They got the jackrabbit on. They said, well, it's a part you can buy hooking onto your clitoris all throughout the day. And you could be having an orgasm that one of them I know they call. I, I, I knew some girls. That was their favorite partner. That was their favorite best buddy to keep in their pocketbook. Pocketbook? What show is this? It's uh, Besides my new favorite program. She got to hit the OG spot. It's uh, Alexis Tyler talking about penis power with her mom. I wasn't expecting a laugh. I didn't, I didn't hear you. I was and well, I shouldn't have. What was the joke? I, I didn't hear it. No. I didn't hear it. No, Jim. Why? No. No. What was it? Not, no. Did it bomb or it wasn't supposed yeah, to be funny? Say it. We don't know. What was it? What, what do you have it? Yeah, What's it Danny is. going for? What was you want it? to sell me out? What was the line? I didn't say anything. I didn't make a joke. All right, and more penis power. <laughs> so the women want the uh, the what? The what? Orgasm. The penetration. They want what? Danny, <laughs> fucking sell out. What happened? You got it. This is what Anthony said a couple seconds ago. Buddy, keeping a pocketbook. Ooh. Speaking of pocketbook, what show is this? It's uh, besides my new favorite program. She got to hit the OG spot. It's uh, Alexis Tyler <laughs> talking about penis power. Say, I didn't hear it. Yeah. Ugh, good <laughs> thing. Oh God damn! Oh fuck! We're talking about this. Obi just spilled his vanilla yogurt right in front of him. Oh, if I was fuck. if I was a dirty girl, I would fucking I would lick that off and then make that's what I'd make cum bubbles out. Oh God! There's a hand load of it. Oh, it's dripping over your hand. Look at this load. Uh, how'd you fucking do that? I don't know, man. Oh, little love. God damn, that's disgusting. It's cleanup time. I'm just cleaning up loads. Clean yourself up. There's money on the dresser. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, this next clip, uh, Alexis talks about how amazing some penises are. Some men, they have so much heat and intensity in their penis that you can feel it radiating through their clothes just to touch the penis. It's on fire. I feel like it's fire underneath the skin. So a lot of women start cr going crazy. They actually think, because all penises are not created equal and they don't hold the same level of intensity. It's a just so if fired it's one hot like that, feeling. he has the energy and he knows how to work his hips, work his buttocks, <laughs> and really twist her and bend her like she's a pretzel and give her the gratification she needs, she's going to be hooked and think that that's love or a deeper root level. She's become going to become sexually, mentally, and emotionally attached, although he ain't no good, and this other man she with provides for her, take care of children that ain't even his, that woman will still sneak and get that penis power from him. Really? How about that? So she's saying, even if the guy that she's with is, uh, you know, has a job and takes care of kids that ain't even his, that she will still go for the hot penis power. Yeah. Right through the pants. Right through the pants. You just feel that heat. Hey, Big let's throbbing. Let's find out among us who has the hot penis. <laughs> Get a thermometer. 
<laughs> Let's find out whose penis is hottest. <laughs> we need thermometers. <laughs> We're losing our minds. I wonder today. who would have the hottest cock. <laughs> right, okay. Jimmy, who would you think would have the hot penis? Who's got the uh, hot? He could cock. feel right through the jeans. Get an intern to come in and hold every one of them under his tongue. <laughs> <laughs> we would absolutely need separate thermometers for everyone because I'm not taking a temperature with someone else's penis. Uh, scrapings on, on the thermometer. Everyone's saying this lady talks like Jesse Jackson. It's like um, Jesse Jackson and Wanda Sykes. She makes more political sense than he does. <laughs> well, that's what she looks like. That's her? Uh-huh. She looks part black and part Asian. I don't know what's going on there. We have to deal with our attachments and separate the love, the orgasm, and the penis. They are separate issues. Because if we're in a lower level of it and we hooked on the penis power and this man won't even buy you uh, some shrimp from Long John Silver's and what that plate, what, two ninety nine? But he can give you a, a, a mouth full of sperm and a rectum full of sperm and, and he won't even get no light bread. It's like... We have to see what our issue is because a man like that doesn't respect a woman. Wow, you don't get the shrimp from Long John Silver. Long John Silver shrimp, you know it's got to be good. But you're Jesus so, Christ. But you're certainly getting the jumbo shrimp in the bedroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. That's This is awful and full of horrible stereotypes. Because you're so hooked on him and you're hooked on the penis... You will sacrifice and sell yourself out to let him come in the back door or let him come at lunch or come in the dark when your re real man that don't have the same penis power is handling all the expenses. So a woman thinks she's getting over and think, oh, that's the best sex. But she really playing herself. And he playing her. Because it ain't about her. It's about his ego and about his penis and his testicles and how many notches he can get up on his belt to brag about. Big Duties Jay from Jersey. Today I learned that Vince from the other day has penis power. Hey, we That's want, right. This is where this is leading to. We want the women to call for once and talk about the power of the penis. The penis power. How far have you traveled for the power of the penis? What chances have you taken? Yeah. Al, uh, Alexis talks about men hitting the bottom of vaginas. Bottoming out. Bottoming out. out. Hitting the back wall. Doink, doink, That's doink, it. doink. Don't let every man hit the bottom of your vagina, the root of your vagina. They don't know about the bottom. They don't know about the bottom. Yeah, that bottom one. But see, every man may not know because he might not have a penis to really know how to hit that bottom or how to lift to hit that bottom and work that middle with a woman. She spread her legs wide and she starts screaming saying, yeah, daddy, that's it. Or she might start like, cursing or screaming out all types of profanities because he doesn't hit the bottom. And now her mind, she insane. Her mind ain't good because the penis done ejaculated all in her brain. Holy fuckaroni. What did she just say? Do women like a guy to bottom out? I couldn't tell from that if the, she's saying yeah or no. Or no, right. Is it good? Uh, pain. What a, I don't know. Like they ejaculate into her brain. Yeah, Brad from That's Atlanta. A big cock. What's up, Brad? I, I, don't, I don't even know where to begin, boys. It went from coming in the mouth to coming in the rectum. Now we're coming in her brain. I'm, I'm into done. Into her brain? Yeah. She just needs penis, obviously. The pain. I'd hate to fuck her. Just like a man to put a woman over doggy style or maybe get a mirror or something. Then they start hitting that woman from the back or on her back. They hitting her. Then they start talking. They start saying all kind of stuff to her while they hitting her. And see, that woman is being seduced. She being seduced. He breaking her down, man. He, he is screwing her into submission. Mm -hmm. He's screwing her into slavery by using the penis uh -oh. as a weapon to break her ass down. And, and her defenses, I mean, she wide open. When the penis all up in your vagina, you don't have no defense. He has already gotten her defenses down, but she's very weak. And that's the worst thing that can happen to a man to get you in while he's thrusting the penis in and out. Who, who, who is it? Whose vagina is it? Who it belong to? Now, the, the, what, what, what I say? Who? Who? And then the woman start calling out the man name, screaming the man name. Then she let the him know she name. coming. When she coming, she hollering. She calling for him. Man, this stuff is programmed all up in this woman's vagina, rectum, uterus, all up in this mind <laughs> right tough. here. And that will actually bind her. 
<laughs> bind. This woman is an idiot. Hulk logic. Are you guys stretching for time while an intern goes to Dwayne Reed for thermometers? <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. She, do, do women like it when guys bottom out? I don't know what this whole thing is about. I, I'm assuming she doesn't like the power of the penis. But it's irresistible. Well, we're waiting for the women to call to help us out with the power of the penis. It's irresistible. Woman. Or one woman. John from North Carolina. What's up? Hey, dude. I want to know at what point during this show does Boo get shot. Boo got shot. <laughs> and with a penis. All right. We're going to learn about bottoming out. We got Cindy. She's brave from uh, Pennsylvania. Cindy, the power of the penis. Dude. Cindy. Hey. Hi. Love you guys. Love your show. Thank you. Hey, I just want to let you know that every man should be able to bottom out if you have at least four inches. No. You have at least that's four all the inches. Depth it is. So you like the bottoming out. What's the, what's about the bottoming out thing? Well, I'm just referring to what that woman was saying on your little sound bite there. Wait, what do you mean? A pussy is not four inches deep. If you have a four inch it's, dick, you're not bottoming out, Missy. Uh, okay. Bulba. I, apparently. Bulba. <laughs> Penis. You're not doing any Bulldog. bottom fishing with a worth a four no. inch. No. Yeah. What's the matter with you? Where did you? Where, who told you this? Well, I do have one. I kind of know about it. Well, maybe you stuck a ruler in your box, but that doesn't speak for every girl. And maybe you got a you short know, I have vagina. A that's a nurse, and she said that your cervical opening is four inches within your vagina. Maybe you have a short. That's the bottom. Vag. All right. It's, it stretches. All right. I I don't know. All right. Uh, well, Cindy's saying that, you know, every man should bottom out. Mike in Connecticut? It's all the angle, I think, actually. Yeah, I just wanted to say, uh, I think that the G spot may be behind the crackhead. Oh, your phone crapped out. Maybe it. it's a crackhead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Power of the penis. Power of the penis. I don't get the gold. Well, now Alexis uh, talks about dreaming about Dick. You don't want to let everybody spank you and talk to you all kind of ways because... Women, they, especially when that man pull it back, won't give you the penis no more. Women will be all in the bed at night trying to sleep, tossing and turning. They dreaming about it. Lord have mercy. They wake up out of their sleep because they dreamt the man done did this to somebody else. And the thought of that, you know, is devastating. That woman's heart get to beating fast. Blood pressure go up. She can't hardly catch her breath. Just to think about that man done rationed that out and laid that out for somebody else and bent them over and talked to them too and spanked them. <laughs> You know what a good fuck this woman must be? <laughs> you Do you think? know, understand what a good fuck... Whoever fucking... Whoever fucks her, somebody... There's an amazing male fuck out there that ruined her life with his cock. Yeah. He owns her. <laughs> whoever she's talking about owns her with his dick. Yeah. He fucked her. Bottomed out. Properly. Oh, boy. You Came know, all up in her ass. You know how many listeners are going to try to bottom out today? <laughs> yeah. As Susie asked from Connecticut, she writes, bottoming out is painful. Yeah. Not good. Yeah, girls don't. Uh, no, the majority of girls don't like having their cervix slammed into. There's been times where I've been having sex with my girlfriend, and she's like moaning because I am hitting the bottom, and she's in pain, and I'm like... I know it's bad, but it's kind of a satisfying. So I'm like, at least I can do that. At least I can do that. Yeah. Hit bottom. Let's say hi to Suzanne in Connecticut. Suzanne, or California. Suzanne, what's up? Great. Thanks. Huh. Uh, Alexis talks about her qualifications. <laughs> Having a PhD, the master degrees to put on my wall in academia, but I have a master oh. degree in being played by men, used by men, told everything I want to hear to get men in positions. And, and I am, to be honest with you, I'm just going to be real about it. I'm very upset by being made a fool out of. <laughs> <laughs> so she don't have nothing. She has no credentials. She's just been raked over the coals a couple of times. Yeah. Uh, the only Here's thing I can say is, uh, again, I've learned something that I didn't know. And I'm definitely going to be on the watch out. Because I know what's out there that will come at you. And from where you're saying they're coming at you with all full force, all this power coming at you, then a girl ain't got a chance. So I'm going to have to stay prayed up. Yeah, we we have to know who we are. We got to know our role. I got to keep standing in the Lord. I got to ask Jesus to keep me every day. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Always gets back to Jesus. What does fucking and having jism put up your ass have to do with the Lord? Public access uh, shows rule. Where is she from? They are good. Atlanta. Atlanta. Can we please Atlanta. get her on the phone? Yeah, let's get her on the phone let's if we can. Let's make her a regular. Yeah, about the penis. Monet. Monet. The Monet. Yeah. What's your Hello. name? Hello. Hey, how you doing? What's your name? Good evening. Pretty good. I go by Monet. All right. 
No, I'm just calling because Cindy, she doesn't know what she's talking about. Every woman is different. Just because her vagina is four inches deep doesn't mean that mine is. Every woman is different. Just every like every vagina woman... is different. It should make a just song like about that. Just every woman's G spot is different. Right. You know, Bulba. this lady that is talking, she has no clue what the hell she's talking about. Well, mm -hmm. uh, uh, can you uh, the power of the penis? That's what we're talking about today. What do you got on that? Oh, well, I know my husband has it. Yeah, he's very good at what he does. Yeah, what's he a coxman? What's his move? What's his move? I, I don't. I, it's hard to describe. It really is. It's kind of like he swivels his hips, and it's like I don't know. It's it's amazing. It's, it, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's really hard to describe. It really is. Man, how close to the Canadian border are you? <laughs> I am not anywhere near the Canadian border. I'm closer to Ohio. All right. I, I hear a little uh, Canadian accent in there. A little bit. Little bit. <laughs> no, I'm not from Canada. All right. Thank you, Monet. Thanks. Let's say hi to Michelle. She is from Canada. Yes, we're taking our call from Canada. This is all, You guys only get one a day. That's what we think about you Canadians. One phone <laughs> call a day for the Opie and Anthony show. Maybe eventually two calls a day. Michelle, what's up? Hi. Um, I want to say that bottoming out is awesome. <laughs> it does hurt a little bit, but you got to embrace the pain. It's good. <laughs> wow, she embrace likes the pain, it. pain, huh? Yeah. All right. And yeah, no, not all guys can bottom out. Trust me. <laughs> and uh, uh, but what about the power of the penis? You got a story about that? Uh, yeah, no, it's totally true. Cause yeah, if you fuck a woman properly, you can own her. <laughs> like yeah, I'll do anything if you fuck me properly. <laughs> wow. Yeah. True. She's a size queen too. Are you a size queen? Totally. I'm totally a size queen. That's so hot. So uh, I mean, uh, it's it's true. Girls want a big one. A big one. Yeah, it is. Sorry, Jimmy. Right. Oh, oh, Jesus. Jesus. She didn't even see your cock, and she's saying... She might have. It, Sorry. I send oh. out mass emails. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? You got a text there, Jimmy? No, I'm sending one. Oh, okay. To my Don't we get the Canadian exchange rate on our cock size, too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something like that. No, it doesn't work that no? way. Sorry, no, boys. <laughs> I just sent a text to my girlfriend saying, I bet you'd love it if I bottomed out more than we fucked. I'm really annoyed. <laughs> What she wants. She wants someone who bottoms out. Bottoms out and still I've, has room. I have a few times on the side. If I turn around her side a certain way, and we hit a really, it's a really weird thing happens. We fight. It's really good. Yeah. But it hurts my dick a little bit because of the angle. Oh. So I can't fuck like that for very long. Mm -hmm. Um. But uh. Yeah. Hold on. You want to you want to be able to bottom out. It's look down and see you know some shaft still sticking out. Yeah. She's actually she bottomed out. She's questioning. Like she doesn't know what bottoming out means. <laughs> oh no. She's sending you a text that says bottoming out? Yeah, she sent me a text that she had a bad dreams about us, and I'm like, what's the bad dreams? We got into a fight, and you had a big party. I couldn't find you anywhere, and people were being rude to me. <laughs> what is this, the dreams of a... Who, how old are you, nine? What is that? And, yeah. so, and someone... I missed having the cake. And someone stole the dice from my candy land. <laughs> that dream stinks. <laughs> Bottomed out? That is a dumb dream.